Okay guys, welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So JP actually got a data download. Interestingly enough, we did not get any information for a part 2 LR in this current Blue Goku and Blue Vegeta celebration. So your guess is as good as mine. I mean, technically speaking, I suppose they could give us a Twitter reveal tomorrow with a data download on the Friday, but I feel like they've covered this week's data download. So I think this is a bit of a soft confirmation that Dragon Ball Super Superhero is probably... Tanabata. I could also maybe even foresee that free to play Gohan maybe getting a Dokken Awakening next week, but again, that is stuff that we can discuss next week. So, in this data download, we got, I was going to say four new units, but uh, these two are brand new. These two uh, free to play uh, world tournament units, and then we have the EZA for King Cold, as well as this guy's Dokken Awakening. By the way, this Goku Black's um, Tiwa art, let's just. Uh, uh, show you guys this is like one of my favorite arts in the game and i'm not really the biggest goku back fan but yeah he looks his art looks so spectacular so schedule again these guys all drop the same time that the uh world tournament goes live so we'll take a look at king cold first um yeah leader skills whatever super attack gets 50 percent attack and defensive raise on super whilst also lowering attack uh does it tell us how much he lowers attack by he lowers attack by 20 percent. okay that's good uh, attack and defense 100% at the start of turn. He gets an additional 3 key, 50% attack and defense. And then Wicked Bloodline Category Allies get 25% attack and defense when HP is 50% or more. I mean, that is good because, as we discussed in yesterday's video, a King Cole's Link set is a bit iffy, right? Bombardment, Super Strike, Tough as Nails really hurts him. And started shattering the limit in, in, you know, in that same regard. But it's good that he's very self-sufficient, that extra key will definitely help out and he's a support unit as well which is good uh, i suppose it does suck that it doesn't give key to all allies but that'd make him i think too busted uh let's see all alamo all alamies what what, the, what is that what is that word all enemies 25 percent attack minus and then minus 50 percent defense okay so that's pretty good in conjunction with his lowering attack super attack effect because that's two instances of essentially debuffing he then gets an additional 100% defense and a medium chance of ste sorry st I can't read today <laughs> of sealing all enemies super attacks when your team has an ally whose name includes Frieza attacking in the same turn and there is a pure or hybrid Saiyan category enemy. This isn't really too bad. This is like I don't know. You know these two categories comprise of like 80% of the game. Frieza attacking in the same turn though I. <sighs> I don't know, right? I mean, this guy is very good, but he wants to be in slot 2, and the way this guy is designed, I think he also wants to be in slot 2. Not really the biggest thing, because there are, like, a decent amount of slot 1 units on the Wicked Budline team, mainly the Golden Freezers. And so, you know, you could use this guy as a slot 3 floater or a slot 2 unit, but that would then, you know, imply that you're not going to get that part of the passive activated all the time. Yeah, and then he gets, what, an additional 50% attack when the target enemy has its super attack sealed. Yeah, I mean, the good thing is, is that because, like, this ceiling applies to all enemies, like, you get this off. This is going to be so helpful in, like, Super Battle Road and Extreme Super Battle Road going forward for any of these stages. I mean, at this point, we're only, yeah, I think only target Goku is left for an Extreme Super Battle Road stage. So is Android slash Cell Saga, I think. Yeah, I mean, Android slash Cell Saga just got an SBR stage now. Terrifying Conquerors as well just got an SBR stage now as well, I think. Um, so yeah, um, good stuff. Th this King Cold does look good. What are his stats, by the way? Oof, that's not... <laughs> okay, that's not very good. I, if I remember correctly, the Mecha Freezer stats... Talking about this guy right here, his defensive stat was like 9,000. And he also gets, I think, far more percentages than uh, King Cold. Yeah, for sure. I, I believe once you tally up uh, Mecha Freezer's total boosts, he's looking at like 400%. Okay. Um, I still think this King Cold is very good because they're two different units. Like the debuffing and the support is where this guy really shines, I think, as well as the ceiling. So yeah, he looks very impressive to me. Um, again, we'll wait and see in terms of stats because I, I don't really have the time to calculate defensive stats and offensive stats. Okay. Looks like we're moving on to the uh, the trunks from the end of Z, I think this is. Uh, tech tech types, two key, 50% towards stats, whatever. 
Raises defense for one turn, okay. Changes into tech key spheres. Attack and defense 20% per key sphere obtained. He gets an additional 5% attack and defense per key sphere obtained with another bond of friendship category ally attacking in the same turn. And then he gets an additional 100% attack and defense when performing a super. Link set, Sane Warrior Race, the Sane Lineage, Cold Judgment, Royal Lineage, and then Shocking Speed. Link set is fairly solid, right? Yeah, Link set is fairly solid. He'll pick up Shattering the Limit in like, I don't know, a year's time or something whenever he uh, Dokkan awakens. He could pick up PFB as well. I mean, this is I believe this is just pretty much a copy and paste of the Goten. Um, in fact... Can I pull him up? I'm actually going to pull him up on... Um, We'll pull him up in here instead because the Dokkan info site is a bit quicker in terms of loading for me. Uh, Goten. Uh, yeah, I'm talking about this guy right here, right? The end of Z Goten. Okay, that didn't change. Why didn't that change? All right, here we are. Uh, can we read his passive? Oh, no, we're in the link tool. Oh, God damn it. I meant to go into the cards. Okay. This is taking a bit of time. Don't worry. We'll just very quickly skirt through this Goten. Here we are. Okay, so Goten. Let's see, uh, changes STR to physical, yeah, 20% attack and defense per key sphere, an additional attack and defense 5% per key sphere, and then, yeah, it's exactly the same kit, right? Exactly the same. He, of course, raises attack for one turn, the trunks raises defense. That's not really the biggest deal, these guys are only SSR, so I could very easily see this guy, or both of them for that matter, picking up like a raising of attack and defense for one turn in their TUR. But yeah, again, he seems solid. A lot of where this power is going to lie is collecting the key spheres like if you're able to i think grab you know i think five key spheres 100 defense essentially with 300 when performing a super attack as well as a 30 percent defense on super he also has cold judgment by the way which is 25 percent defense yeah he could look very good defensively let's just take a look does it tell us no it does not okay um yeah i think he's okay right again i'm never really the big fan of these world tournament units being like offensively or defensively oriented units because a lot of the time the stats hurt them but this is necessary i can't really judge him too much all right moving on to Estar goku black uh okay leader skill actually leader skill is okay like there are definitely like better leader skills that you can use for dokkan battlefield but like <laughs> there's a lot worse leader skills as well super attack greatly raised attack and defense for one turn supreme damage and lowers attack okay exactly the same as um king cold attack and defense 100 percent an additional 20% defense of each attack received up to 100%. That's very good. He then gives Future Saga Category Allies one key, 20% attack, and 10% defense. And then Time Travelers one key, 20% attack, and then 10% defense. And then he gets an additional 50% attack when attacking a super class enemy. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, but this you know, separate buff is very good. Because it's, in terms of the Dokkan calculation in the order, it's multiplied separately, I think, from just the start a turn buff but uh, i mean i say that he does have big bad bosses though what are his stats um i don't know why i was thinking he's an easy eight. what the hell is this <laughs> six thousand uh okay that's not good um yeah i'm sorry guys i think he's trash uh support is good i uh, is this guy gonna get to 200k defense i don't know um do we have a phone uh, i was like maybe we could calculate it very quickly i don't have my phone on me great my phone God knows where that is. Um, I mean... Can we get the calculator out very quickly? Uh, let's do this. Does that work? Does that open what I want it to open? It does. Very slowly though. Again, I'm actually thinking of upgrading my PC. So, for sure, for sure. I I'm thinking of getting a better upgrade so we can just make better, oh, high quality content. I think after he's fully built up, he, he should be around the the 200k defensive mark, I would think. I mean, the lowering attack will help as well. So let's see, 6, 2, 3, 4. I don't believe he's on a 200% leader score yet, is he? No, okay, we're just going to calculate him on a 170 leader score. So 4.4. Oh, the, that, that is horrible. Uh, so he gets 100% defense on super. Sorry, at the start of turn. We then factor in Link, so... A cold Judgment is 25%. Big Bad Bosses is also... That's 50, 55, and then 60. Okay, so 1.6. I, I still don't know if this is good enough. Okay. Um, oh, I forgot to factor in his... Because he's he, is, he himself is a recipient of this buff, right? 
Okay, back to the drawing board. God damn it. Uh, 6,234. Multiply by 4.4. I don't want to turn this. I, don't, I do not want to turn this into a maths class, but it is what it is. Uh, so 10 percent defense there, 10 percent defense there. So that's what uh, 20 on top of his 100 percent at the start of turn. So 2.2. Uh, again, he gets 60 percent defense through links, assuming that he can get everything activated, and then he gets an additional 100 percent defense. So ah, uh, it's not bad. It could be worse. I, f I think I've calculated that correctly. Again, I'll I'll correct myself in the comments below if I'm wrong. Uh, do we have any confirmation here? I mean, I swear that's how it works. I'm pretty sure that this type of buff you would activate later. Yeah, here's the thing. I'm not going to spend too much time because I don't want this. I don't want to make this video too long. But I will correct myself in the comments below uh, if I'm wrong about that. But yeah, he seems okay. Again, I. Based on my calcs, I don't think that's correct. He's, he, there's no way this guy's defense is sitting at 300k. So I'm, I'm assuming he's going to be at like 220 maximum post super. But I will correct myself in the comments below if I'm right or wrong. And then of course we have Shen. As you guys are aware, I'm a huge, I'm a huge OG Dragon Ball fan. So this is pretty good. Uh, raise attack and defense one turn with a high chance of stunning. Very good. Attack and defense 100%. Seals the enemies, or the attacked enemy super attack. What, really? Just for free? Okay, a 30% chance of dodging all attacks, um, chance of evading enemies attacks 20%, and then attack and defense 100% as the first attacker in a turn. Mm, this is interesting, because we recently got that AGL Jaco. He is worded like this, and his 70% chance to dodge activates irrespective of whether he attacks first, which is not the case typically. So, like, if this is just put him in slot 1 and you can get this off for free, oh, that's very good. That's very, very good. And then an additional 100% attack from the same turn after evading an attack. Link set sucks, though. He does have in-fight. Sorry, he does have Guidance of the Dragon Balls. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, he has Guidance of the Dragon Balls, but not the Incredible Adventure? Like, come on, bro. Like, does he, does he really need more than meets the other gentleman or strength and unity? Whatever, like, he's only on, he's on these dead categories anyway, like, uh, who cares. Realm of Gods is not dead, but it's dead for this unit because you're not going to get any links activated for him. I mean, yeah, I'm just going to leave it like that. He seems good. It all depends on if, like, this is, like, AGL Jaco or not. And then finally, we just got some missions as well. Just very quickly, I feel like we've gone very slowly on time. Uh, we'll check that in a second. Uh, okay, missions, so what are we looking at? Like, World Tournament, I'm thinking Realm of Gods, because of the Blue Goku and Blue Vegeta. Let's see. So, yeah, uh, World Tournament, Learned Evolution, what is that? Oh, yeah, Mastered Evolution, and then, yeah, Realm of Gods, okay. So that's the, uh, the, the World Tournament missions to get the extra World Tournament medals. Uh, these are just the part two missions in general. These disappear on the 30th. Okay, yeah, pretty much lining up with Tanabata. Uh, with this King Cold mission or sets of missions, what is the, the team that we need to bring for stage four? Typically, they, you know, for these Super Strike Easy A's, they usually will say complete stage four with... A, okay, we had okay we had bajillion more missions left, but they will usually say complete like stage four with a full team of like hybrid Saiyans or whatever. So I just want to double check... Uh, what that team is, or if we need a particular unit. Uh, let's see, perform five steps. Clear stage four by organizing six characters belonging to the Beyond Time and Space. I think that's Time Travelers. Do you have any uh, particular characters? Clear stage four by including a character named Super Saiyan Trunks Future. Okay. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, the rest of the missions you guys will complete automatically. So, thank you guys for watching. Again, a very uh, quiet, a very suspiciously quiet data download. No part 2 LR, no Twitter reveal, no nothing. Just these um, essentially world tournament units as well as King Cole's EZA. Uh, get hyped though. I think Dragon Ball Super Superhero is coming. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.